So how Sisters of 86 got involved with the Make-A-Wish Foundation um, was that local 528 um, concrete finishers were telling us that they were going to be doing a Make-A-Wish um, for a basketball court and they wanted the girls from local 86 to help out with that. Um, so Jen and I got some girls together and came out here and watched them do the court itself, the concrete laying, um, and then they invited us to come in and do the basketball hoop. This is a pretty big basketball hoop, um, so in order to put it up, we had to ensure that the bolts were in concrete, um, made sure that they were plumb, erected it, got it all dialed in, and then finally put on the big glass backboard. Our structural skills definitely came into play with this um, to make sure that the column was erected uh, properly, uh, make sure that it's nice and plumb on all angles um, and bolted down the way that it should be. It's so great just to be able to give back to people and to help where I can because I'm blessed and I have an amazing living, I have an amazing life and I can do all that now in the position I am in, and it's just, it's just awesome. It's awesome to be able to give back to the community. This was amazing to be able to help these little girls out here have a hoop so they could play basketball, just minor little things like that. It's just, it, it's great. Even though I do have a family of seven at home, um, this project was pretty important to me to be able to give back to not only the community, but the kids involved. So this project spoke to um, when Jen offered it of saying, hey, there's a project that we could work on. It spoke to me primarily because I am a special needs parent as well. Um, so knowing that there's a wish out there to be fulfilled for other children with different abilities too, um, really just tugged at my heartstrings to come out here and, here and help.